Hi there, YouTube land people. So I was out in my garden as usual every day and checking out my sugar baby watermelons and I noticed that one of the little tentacles turned brown. Well, as you may or may not know, supposedly that's when it's time to pick them. So yeah, this is the first watermelon I've ever grown in my life. So why don't you come on outside with me and we'll get the little sugar baby and I have everything set up here. I'm gonna put it here and I got my kitchen shears so I can get the sugar baby off the vine without ripping any plants parts or anything. And so I'm just wondering, is this gonna be worth it? I've spent somewhere around $20, including like all the soil and amendments or fertilizers. So this is gonna be interesting. Now, if it's good and it's really, really sweet, and I get a few more, and I do have a few more that aren't ready yet, it might be worth it. I might actually break even, you know, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, we got a nice one down here, which isn't ripe yet, but it'll be ripe soon. You can see this one. And then I got another one, the biggest one of all is back here. And this one, I'm going to put my laptop down for a minute. Um, that one. It's got a little brown tentacle on it, so... There you go. Put my foot here without stepping on anything. I don't know if you could see this, but right here, that tentacle was brown. So... There we go. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Okay, I think it is done. It's very heavy. Oh. Oh man, that's about seven, eight pounds, I'd say. It's really heavy. Okay, let's get this puppy in the house. Oh, she's so pretty. I almost hate to eat her. It's so pretty. But that's what I bought them for. I'm worried if I leave it too long, it could start to rot. Bugs could start getting it or something. So this will be fun. It's a beautiful day here in South Texas. It's about 85 in the shade. Yeah, it definitely is. I gotta put this computer down again. Luckily I have my car here, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get back in the house. Put you guys down again over here while I shut the screen. Because it doesn't seem to want to shut on its own and then the flies come in here. And I can't stand having flies in my house. Okay, here we are. I'm going to rinse her off. Man, it's heavy. I, I think this thing's got to be over 10 pounds. Oh. I don't even know what watermelons go for in the store. They're not cheap, but they don't sell these. Sugar baby. But they're supposed to be kind of small like this. Okay. Let you guys see what's going on. I just hope it's juicy and I hope it's sweet because I'm starving. I've had nothing to eat all day. Oh, okay, I'm going to cut a slice of it. Oh, no. It sounds seems hollow maybe not that's gonna be terrible if it's no good if it's no good then I probably won't even broke grow these ever again I hope it's good darn it it's, yeah it's got juice coming out of it so that's that's a good sign it does have juice coming out of it oh it smells really good that looks good too not as quite as red as the ones in the store Okay. Mm. I would say I should save the seeds. Um, I 
on a scale, like honestly, on a scale from one to 10, like 10 being like the sweetest, best watermelon ever, it's not a 10. Um, I'd say it's about a five, unfortunately. There is some sweetness, but I mean, I've had some really, really sweet watermelons at this from the store. There's a lot of seeds in this thing too. Okay, well, will I grow watermelon again? If the next one I pick is the same as this one, which is like, again, about a five, not very great. Probably not this type. I might try a different, I don't know. Does, has anyone ever grown watermelon? Does anyone know what the best um, watermelon is? There's so many different watermelons out there. So maybe someone knows what is the best watermelon that's the sweetest that you know of, if anyone's ever grown watermelon before. What do, I, what do I think I did wrong? I don't know. Um, I did everything I was supposed to do. I used blood meal, bone meal, um, cow manure, or topsoil. With topsoil, you can't really get straight cow manure. I've looked for it, and the only kind they have is the one with topsoil. So I really don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to put worm castings in there, but that's even more money. So, yeah, I think... If I really want a sweet watermelon, I would just get it from the store. So hopefully I have better luck with my cantaloupe. And I don't know when they'll be ready. They, um, probably at least another month or so. But anyway, if you like what you see and you want to see all of me, I have an OnlyFans. So join my OnlyFans. And I will see you later. Take care.